Question number one, can I ferment my vegetables in vinegar? Question number two, can I add vinegar to my vegetable ferment? I'm gonna answer both of those questions. Question one, can I ferment my vegetables in vinegar? The quick answer is no, because vinegar brines do not ferment. Here's why. Vinegar is a key player in food preservation because it stops the growth of microbes, microbes that could potentially make you sick. However, due to vinegar's harsh acidity and the immediate acidity, not only does the vinegar kill off the bad microbes, but it also kills off the good ones as well. Specifically, the lactobacillus bacteria needed to lactoferment your vegetables. Now, a lactofermentation brine will also become acidic, but it doesn't start acidic. Instead, it develops over a period of time, and the lactobacillus are able to grow and multiply and strengthen through the fermentation process, eventually even thriving in their own self-generated lactic acid brine environment. Question number two, can I add vinegar to my lactofermentation? Adding just a splash of vinegar to your lactoferment may speed up the tanginess slash the sourness. It's kind of like a shortcut because a lactofermentation will also develop those same intense sour flavors. It just takes more time. So if you have the time and the patience, skip the vinegar and allow the lactofermentation to do what it does. Okay, but maybe you have a special flavored vinegar that you really want to be a part of your fermentation. A mature fermentation will be able to tolerate the vinegar much better than a brand new one because the colonies of lactobacillus will have had time to develop and strengthen, thus not being as susceptible to the vinegar like a brand new ferment would be. If vinegar is definitely a part of your game plan, just be mindful of how much you add and the timing you add it. Now I also want to address this third scenario. Some refrigerator pickles using a vinegar brine will call for the pickle to be left out on the countertop for three to four days before placing the pickle into the refrigerator. If it's not fermenting, why leave it out for three or four days before putting it in the fridge? Marinating is the soaking of foods in a seasoned or spiced, acidic or enzymatic liquid, AKA a brine, for the purpose of flavor enhancement and or surface texture change. I believe that's the intention of why certain recipes may call for leaving it out on the counter and maybe they have even more in-depth reasoning on that. I just wanted to give you my quick thought on that since some people have asked. Now, if you want to learn more between pickling versus fermenting and their differences, I've got a great video for you right here. Check it out. And are you also interested in learning how to make your own apple cider vinegar with or without the mother? Then check this video out here where I show you how to do it both ways. Subscribe if you want to see more of my videos and I will see you next time. Bye.